Super Lum here. Um, today I'm going to uh, pick this U change lock. This was graciously given to me by Tumblr, so Tumblr, thank you very much for this lock. Um, I'll get you back with something nice uh, when I can. Um, but I wanted to get into this lock because it was the internals of it are absolutely genius, uh, and I, I love the quick change system that they've created with it. Um, where they've basically made it like this marquee system, but it's still a pin tumbler. Um, so it's a very, very cool little lock. It's still quite easy to pick into, but um, as a whole, very, very interesting. The drivers, uh, as far as I know, are all standard on top. Just gonna move things around a little bit here. Um, but it's, it's the actual design of the internals of the lock that it's just amazing the amount of work that they put into in order to um, make the system do what it does. There it is, open. And uh, if you notice, the plug is actually quite large. Um, so I've actually had to 3D print my own follower. Um, it's a little large, so I sanded it down so it would fit better. Um, I don't have a key for this lock, but I did just buy one, uh, and that's coming in from Mac G&G, &G, um, along with a couple other goodies. So I can't wait to get those in and start picking on them. Now, Tumblr did an awesome, awesome job showing off the internals uh, of this lock and the mechanism. So, hopefully, I can amount to something similar for that. Come here. So, before I take this out, um, you'll see that the front slit here. And I'm just going to use this 18,000s as a, a fake change tool. What's going to happen is the tool is going to come in and interact with these silver bits here. And what these are, I'll take out the whole assembly. It is a four piece system. And I'll use the pick again. Focus. There we go. You have this side peg, the key pin. This is the part that actually interacts with it. It's also telescoping. And you have the main housing as well as a spring on the inside. And what happens is if I pull this peg out, see it's got a little peg on it. This key pin is now free to extend. I put that back in there. It's now locked. It's got a little bit of wiggle, but that's fine. So, what happens is your change tool will go in and it will interact with this peg by slightly pulling it out. You can see how it's now pushing against my finger. Just push that back in, and now it's one whole assembly again. And you do that through all of them, but what will happen is, you put the key in, your working key, turn it 90 degrees just like a quick set, insert the change tool all the way to the back, it will pull all the pegs out, um, but the top stack won't go farther than the shear because you've turned it 90 degrees pull out your key that works, put in another key that you want to work, uh, remove the quick change tool, which will then drop the pegs back into their 
appropriate uh, segments, turn it back, and pull out the key. And then obviously you'll want to test the key and make sure it works after, but uh, that's the, the idea between this lock, which I think is absolutely remarkable that they've taken this much work into making um, this whole system work. It's absolutely genius. The plug itself looks pretty well like a cutaway, just to make room for everything. These sections up here, I believe, are simply just to keep pressure on on these um, pegs. So they'll sit just like that. When the change tool comes out, it will kick out a little bit, um, but it would be pressed up against the inside of the body. Um, so I'm guessing that's what it is. It's just a, it's a little bit of mechanical force just to hold that peg in from from coming out. I thought the lock was a little bit broken when I first got it uh, because it was jingling. It turns out it was these guys sitting in there loose. But uh, my guess is that's that's part of the design. Oh, they're hollow. Hollow driver pins. With the spring going inside. And these springs are rather tiny. I sit in there, just like that. Is it that they do that? Here's a standard mortise. This is a bylock. Um, they're pretty well the same size, so my guess is because they've had to use the bigger plug, they didn't want to use a bigger cylinder as a whole to fit with the uh, other cylinders that are already out there. They've had to make those holes in the driver pins in order to account for the loss of Bible space up top. Interesting. I guess all of them are like that. Yeah. All of them with this hollow driver pin design. So I can see that they wouldn't be able to make security pins out of these uh, simply because they have to have that hollow in there. So it doesn't really give a whole lot of room to to make any modifications to the to the pin without it being very, very weak. But there is all the pins. Beautifully, beautifully done. Can't wait to get my U-Change key and tool in so that way I can make it a working lock. Thanks for watching. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.